it's a uh, it, it's just a metaphor for struggle. It's a wrestling hold that is um, you can get out of, but it, it, it's a little bit tricky. One has to flail, struggle a little bit to get out of it. Um, not that I've wrestled, but I, I just like the title. It sounds like it's a title that uh, people can chew on after they leave the theater, ask their friends what they think it means, and and we intended to make a film that does that as well, a film that people can talk about after they leave and uh, doesn't over-explain too much, and we thought the title should match that. And in terms of casting of Ryan Gosling, did you always envisage him for the part? Or? No, no. As, um, as fantastic as he is in the film, we had initially written it for somebody a bit older, somebody in their mid-30s. Uh, that's at least what we wrote down in the script. Uh, Dan Dunn, white, mid-30s. But um, he got a hold of the script through our casting director, got it to his manager somehow, and we found out he liked it. And our first reaction was, well, he's terrific. We'd seen The Believer. That's all we'd seen him in, and he's amazing in it. But, you know, how is this 19-year-old kid going to play a, a teacher? But we looked at all of his other movies, and he was so such a terrific sort of volatile, surprising young actor that we thought, um, let's do it, let's just make him a younger teacher. Anna and I, who wrote the script with me, are, are interested in, in movies that explore complicated characters struggling with something inside themselves. And, um, you know, we, we don't like typical movie heroes that aren't flawed and are perfect people. That's just not interesting to us. Um, although those, those people in life, if they exist, are, are terrific. Um, but it's something to strive for. I don't, I don't think that most of us uh, are p perfect people in any ways. And so we wanted to tell a story about um, um, this guy who has a job that is typically uh, necessary. Well, we, we at least think of teachers as being incredibly uh, moral, being sort of the standard for, for morality and people that we trust our kids with. And we were just interested in, sure, he's a terrific teacher, but he's also incredibly flawed and is dealing with a lot of um, complicated issues. Why did you play on what is a lot, what many parents' worst fear? Well, you know, the intent was to be provocative, but it was never. I think that we we sort of pushed the limits of of. Us, the, you're probably thinking of the dance scene when he dances a little bit too close to her and a little bit uncomfortably close to her. But I think it just has to do with his sort of um, self destruction. You know, he's he's really losing his idea of, of boundaries and as a teacher and I think the more that he devolves into drug abuse the, the more he loses the sense of, of how he's supposed to be acting um, and so you know early in the film we see him get high and go out and dance with girls and, and he does it periodically throughout the film he dances he gets high and I think he forgets that he's at a school dance for a second and that he's dancing with a 13 year old in, the, in a way that he maybe shouldn't but again that's I think that it feels uncomfortable, but it's not as sexually charged as some people read into it. And the film's position on drugs is very much seems to be portrays drugs as being a very bad thing. Is that your own personal view, or is that just <laughs> right for the character? Uh, you know, it's not a it's not a message movie. It's not an anti-drug movie. I mean, certainly, I think you can see where um, abuse abuse uh, and addiction can lead. Um, but that that wasn't the uh, the core intent of, of making the film. It, I think it just has to do, like you said, with the characters and the story that we're portraying. I think ultimately in the film, uh, what we're trying to, if the film is trying to say something, it's not a message movie by any means, but I think that we're trying to say that um, if you open up and, and allow yourself to, to be affected by, by people in your life and to, to form um, strong friendships, individually that can grow, then um, we can all together make a difference.